as a leader you must seek to always grow you must seek to always increase your skill become better at what you do in isaiah chapter 54 verse 2 to 3 he says enlarge the place of your tent strengthen your stakes strengthen your cords he said for you are breaking out to the right and to the left a lot of us want to break out to the right and to the left but we are not careful to enlarge the place of our tent so we we want um a greater measure to be a lot uh, to be allotted to us but we don't increase our capacity to be able to carry that measure that we want so we want an enlarged audience for example we want to reach out to a larger number of people through your ministry because the heart of every minister is to be a blessing to as many as possible but do you sustain the capacity to be able to do that so first of all as a minister you must have the heart posture of growth that at every point in your life you are not stored you are, you do not plateau in your in your in your work with god you are continually ascending do you understand as you do that you will be effective year in year out and permit me to talk about activities in this place as a minister you must ensure that your activities are not impeding your growth so make sure that you are not involved in a lot of things that you don't have time to develop yourself so you are here you are there you are doing this you are doing that and there is no time for self-development you will crash so to thrive in ministry you must always seek to grow and to be effective in matthew chapter 17 verse 19 to 21 you know after the disciples had tried to you know cast out or heal the boy that was um, suffering from conversion as a, as a result of a spirit and they were not able to jesus came and cast out that devil and then his disciples went to jesus and said how come we were not able to do this <laughs> how come our measure is not able to handle this jesus told them something he says that um part of the the, the reply after he told them that you know this kind is by faith he also told them that this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting right so one of the things that jesus was implying is that there is a level of growth you need to sustain to be able to handle this you know growth in prayer growth in the world that's what you know that's what um makes you conscious of the power you carry that's what makes you um more effective more more sharp in the spirit that's what makes your voice more audible in the spirit so he was telling them this kind he <laughs> jesus was not saying that before you do this you have to go and go and pray and fast and then come back no because jesus did not do that but he he continually maintained the state of growth that when he came to that, that boy that was suffering from conversion he was able to deal with the demon in the life of that boy do you understand so there is a a level of growth as leaders you must seek to be above your followers at the moment that your followers grows above you they will not have need of you any longer do you understand so to be able to be effective and to last in ministry you must continue to grow 